All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ever Eden Tarot. If it is your first time here, welcome. If you enjoy this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the above, all of those fun things that we do to support YouTubers and the growth of their channels. This is a quick video for me. Typically, mine are a pretty long, about 20 minutes per reading. So this is a bit fast and furious. I'm just plowing through tons of guided information about the blessings that are coming your way in the next 30 days. Please understand that this is a timeless video and that this has found you at the correct time in your life when you need it to see it. Okay, so if you are new to pick a pile or pick a card readings, <laughs> you simply pick a card and select the one that works for you best. Pretty much, you know, um, I, you know, we can do this in a couple of different ways. I tend to meditate on the pile and then take a few minutes, see which one calls my name. Some people like to pick by the stone or the crystal, um, whatever calls them out there. And they just take a few seconds and dive in deep. And then you go down into the description and into the comments and you click on the pile timestamp that you selected and you get your personalized reading. It's super fun. I'm so happy to have you here and I'm so excited to explore your blessings that are coming to you in the next 30 days. So that again is pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay, do your thing and I will see you at the piles. Hello, group one. If you chose this set of cards and this lovely pyrite stone, then this is the group for you. Today, we are taking a deeper dive into what blessings are coming your way. What can you expect? Good news about what green lights go are you getting in the next 30 days. This is a timeless reading, so it is meant to find you at the best time suited in your life for this 30-day period. Trust that it found you at the right time. So let's take a deeper dive and have a look. All right, so we have Y as your first card. Interesting. And then we have community. Okay, so what I'm getting from this as you're first starting out here is you've been working really hard to build something, to create something, something that's possibly a legacy. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a family. Um, and you're just, you know, you're a little bit stuck because it's not coming as fast as you thought it would. With the why card I'm getting, you're kind of like, why not me? Why not now? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. But you're operating in a vibe of almost lack, you know, your vibration isn't right when you're sitting there asking why. You need to sort of tell the universe, hey, this is mine. I demand this. But you're building here. Um, either you're making room for love in your life or you're trying to build a family um, or you're trying to manifest something in community. Maybe there's like a house or some actual physical structure like that that you're after, something that is to do with kind of your personal world and everything going on there. And you're just trying to take strides and next steps at that, but you're feeling a little blocked um, with this Y card. And the universe is just saying, it's okay. It's going to be fine. It's just not your time yet. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so your next card is leap. You go first. Yeah, that's what the universe wants you to do. So this blessing is coming your way. Definitely. You go first. The universe will catch you. So make the moves and do the things that you need to do 
to make this come true. Prepare yourself. Get ready. You know, if you are trying to manifest a partner in your life, get your home and your space ready. Act as if you live with someone already. Um, if you're trying to, you know, get a new home or if you're trying to build uh, yourself up in the community, you have to act like you are there already and you need to start taking the steps um, in the same vibrations that you would be if you were actually doing this thing. And that's what the universe wants you to know. The universe will catch you. You will be caught. You just, you just have to go for it. You just have to do it. You know, you're sitting there, you're, you're building, I feel like you're doing like really foundational things, but you're not actually going for it. The universe wants you to go for it. And that's the answer to your why. Okay. And then the next thing we're getting is pillar of light. Yeah, your vibration is raising. You are the oracle. Exactly. So your vibration is raising. Your divine timing is coming. You are getting in alignment. You are getting where you need to be for this to come true, for you to manifest your community, whatever that may be, with whether it's friendship, partnership, family, um, new beginnings and these new opportunities that you are looking for and that you are welcoming, opening into your life. Um, the universe is saying in the next 30 days, your vibration is rising so that you will be able to receive this. You will be in an open space, a good space to actually accept this blessing into your life. You will be in the correct space to receive it because you haven't been there yet. You've been asking why when you should be leaping and raising your vibration so that you are aligned and ready for the opportunity when it comes, not asking why it isn't here yet. Okay, so let's dive into tarot and learn a little bit more about this. Okay, your first card is the seven of pentacles. Interesting. Uh, next, we have the queen of swords. And then we have the page of wands. Okay, what I'm getting with the seven of pentacles, and you can see there it says potential. Um, so you have been putting in work. You've been doing a lot of work on your own to build, you know, what you think is the foundation, but it's very much in the physical realm. Um, the universe is saying over the next 30 days, the blessing that you're getting is going to be able to raise your vibration and stay in a positive attitude and be able to leap forward, but more so aligning your thought and mental preparation to be ready to accept this blessing, which is very interesting. You know, sometimes we can do all the work, all the physical wor work in the physical realm that we want, but sometimes we just aren't mentally ready to receive something yet. So you've been working on this. You've been, you know, building and building and building. You may have done a lot of tactical things, but you're ready to do the mental and emotional things to bring this to fruition. All right. And then with the queen of swords here, you are resilient. You are showing resilience. Keep it up. You can see her. She is swimming with this shark. She is not breaking a sweat. She is down. She is going to keep on going. And the universe tells you to keep on going for these next 30 days so you can raise your vibration, so you can accept this into your life. And with the page of wands, um, what I'm getting is it might take some creative approaches. You know, you might have a, a little bit of a, <laughs> a shift, you know, maybe a little hanged man moment where you want to shift your perspective so that you're ready um, to open this. But you got to get a little more creative instead of looking at this in the physical realm as like, I want X person, I want X job, I want X house, I want X amount of children, and so on. You know, you have to get into the vibration and get creative about what you actually want. Like deep down, what do you want? You want true love. You want a safe space to call home. You want a career you feel abundant in. You want to be secure. And then in turn, I want into I am so that you can flip this on its head a bit, get creative about it and welcome it into your life. Okay. So I did pull some clarifiers as well. To clarify the seven of pentacles, we have the page of pentacles opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And the six of wands to clarify the queen of swords. 
And then we have the Queen of Wands to clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what I'm getting here with the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Pentacles is that this is an opportunity and this is an opportunity that's going to present itself to you if it hasn't already. You will know. I feel like, you know, you've been searching and searching and searching and building and building and building, but it hasn't landed. The right opportunity hasn't landed in your in your lap. The right person hasn't manifested themselves to you. Um, you know, the right house hasn't appeared for you. The timing hasn't been right to grow your family and different things like that. Um, this opportunity will appear if you keep going, if you keep putting in this work, but you also have to do the mental work too and raise your vibration. With the Queen of Swords being clarified by the Six of Wands, your resiliency is going to pay off. It's going to be success. You're going to see like a small victory first, you know, a small celebration, um, but it will get you closer and closer to this abundance that you're trying to attract into your life by adjusting your vibration that you are trying to create with this community aspect. With the Page of Wands here being clarified by the Queen of Wands, um, the next 30 days will be a lot of growing for you and that is going to be a big blessing that you will get. You will turn, you know, um, this little bit of drive and this creativity that you get from all of this hard work um, that you needed to flip around a bit into complete and utter passion. <laughs> you know, so if you are searching for love or a love partner or somebody to welcome into your life, you know, you are going to experience so much passion and be in just this passionate, seductive vibration. If you're trying to attract, you know, a home, you're going to be very passionate about you, what you want. You're going to make a list. You're going to know exactly what you want. You're going to get clear about it. You're going to start buying stuff already for it that you don't have because you're going to get so passionate about it that you are going to become the oracle. You are going to light this up. Your vibration is rising and you are transforming from this little page of wands with this creative idea into this queen of wands who commands and gets what she wants. <laughs> okay, so I also asked Spirit for some advice for you as well. Um, next is the Two of Pentacles options. That's in the advice category. And then we have the Nine of Cups, a wish. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Um, what I'm getting with the Two of Pentacles is um, just know you're going to have to juggle a lot for a bit for sure. And also know that this might not look exactly like you think it would look in the path to get there might be a little different than the path you thought you would be on. Um, but you know, the, the outcome is the same. You will get what you want. You will get your wish come true. Keep yourself focused on your wish. Keep yourself, um, focused on exactly what you want. Really get into that vibration of already having what you want and you will raise your vibrations and get in alignment with this success coming true. Um, I just want to say that this success might not come true in the next 30 days, but you are going to get on the way Wavelength, you are going to be prepared for this success to happen in the next 30 days. That is the blessing that is coming your way. The raise in vibration and being supported by the universe to get what you want, to make your wish come true, to push forward, to have your wish delivered to you. Okay, so I also pulled some crystal cards so we can see what some advice that spirit also has for you. Yeah. Okay. Ancient wisdom. This goes completely, completely in alignment with what we're talking about here. Um, so use ancient wisdom of vibrations and different things like that. Know in your heart, know in your soul that this is coming to you, that everything is in alignment, that you are supported. You know, take the leap. You go first. You are supported through this ancient wisdom, through all of this knowledge that the world has, you know, that is greater than you, but that you are just going to become this little vessel of that creates this amazing opportunity and makes this wish come true. Um, and then we have black tourmaline, which is protection. Yes. So protect your vibration. Stay away from things that may lower your vibration. Make sure that you are surrounded by the right things and that, you know, your life is 
full of amazing positive energy so that you can protect yourself so that you can get in alignment in the next 30 days with what you want so that your blessings can come true. Okay, group one, thank you so much for tuning in. This was just a fast and furious little message about what blessings are coming your way. So prepare yourself, protect yourself, get into your ancient wisdom, get ready to increase that vibration and take the leap. You'll have your answers to why you'll build this community like you like, and you have a wish coming to you. Okay. Enjoy your next 30 days. Bye. Hey, group two, welcome to your quick and fast and furious <laughs> what blessings are coming to you in the next 30 days timeless reading. Please trust that this reading found you at the right time and that this is the energy that has been gathered that you relate to for the next 30 days to find out what blessings, what opportunities, what excitement is coming to you. All right, so let's just jump right into this. Okay, your first card is milk and honey. Oh, that's exciting. And next we have regeneration. Okay, so what I'm getting for you with milk and honey showing up first is that the next 30 days is going to be abundant for you. Also may include travel because when I hear milk and honey, I think of the land of milk and honey and I see some land over here. So I'm getting that a lot of you may be traveling or maybe going on a trip if that's possible within the next 30 days or maybe planning one, maybe winning one, something like that you're itching to. Anyway, you do need some regeneration. You do need some relaxation. You need to take some time, recoup, recover, and build back up your strength after a crazy year. So you are just ready um, to enter the land of milk and honey. You've also been working very, very, very hard um, to get to where you're going, to get um, this abundance that is coming in for you that I'm thinking is either finances or travel or something very abundant like that as well. Um, you've been working very hard and you do need this regeneration, which will come for you once you reach milk and honey and you get to recharge, recoup and regroup yourself to build back up some energy. Okay, let's see what else we have here um, so I can get some more information and more clarification. Your next card is awakening energetic upgrades. Yeah. Um, a new way of being, integration. Okay, so you definitely need some energy. You definitely need to recover and you will get that in the next 30 days. You are going to get some energetic upgrades. Your energy is going to revive and be just back on track again um, because you have been working so hard to get this reward in which you are searching for. So a new way of being, you may get a new opportunity to reduce your workload in some sort of way. Um, but in, in any which way, you're going to get the opportunity to recharge. And your next card is a star seed. And it says, what lights you up? Which is really interesting because this tree is trying to be lit up from the roots and it's grounding. Um, so I think it's really interesting if a lot of you out there do love travel, um, then that might be for you. That might light you up. Um, if you do enjoy the finer things in life and that you find them very whimsical and exciting, then that might light you up as well. So you might, you're you going to get what makes you excited in the next 30 days. Something is coming to you that is big, that lights you up, that makes you excited, that regenerates you, and that makes you feel abundant, whatever that is to you. All right, let's get a little bit of clarification with some tarot here as well. All right, so your first card is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, this may be a person. Let's just get them all out here. Then we have the Three of Cups. And then we have the Angel of the Ocean. Healing, interesting. 
Okay, so what I am getting here with the Knight of Wands is this might also indicate travel. Once again, for some of you, you might be getting travel within the next 30 days or plans for travel or something like that. You're getting the green light go. Things might be okay or things are looking hopeful in that sense for you. Um, and then also this could be a person. There could be a male in your life that you are trying to attract or a male energy. Um, this person may be coming in. They may be coming in from a distance or maybe a distance between you. You may have to travel to see them or they have to travel to see you. But there is going to be a reunion with this three of cups. Um, there may have been some uncertainty on this relationship in the past. But you are going to get some closure. If not, you're just going to travel with a great group of people, hopefully, and regenerate what you're getting there in your opportunity wise. But this person, um, you know, there could have been some com some uncertainty in the past and now it's going to be clear and there's a reunion and they're coming in or you're going to travel or get abundance or something like that coming in for you in the next 30 days. And then next we have healing, which totally lights up. So maybe you are traveling with this person that you would be excited to travel with or making travel plans with them because you need to heal. You need to regenerate. You need to find what lights you up. You need to go on that path and you need to figure it out because you I'm getting are exhausted. Okay. So once again, this could be a couple different things here, but it's definitely has to do with relaxation and really strongly towards travel and possibly a particular person coming in that provides you relaxation. Abundance though, for sure. Lots and lots of abundance. The land of milk and honey is coming to you. You're going to some place or planning to go to some place, planning a vacation to some place that is of your dreams. It is coming true and it might be with a person that you are hoping to bring with you or, you know, it's a reunion or you're bringing family or something like that, but it is a part of your healing and is part of re-energizing yourself because you have been worn down, tired and exhausted completely okay so i did pull a clarifier for this which would be the three of wands motion yeah okay uh <laughs> and then we have the king of cups understanding yeah and then we have the eight of wands travel oh, all right all right all right Okay, so I'm still definitely getting the travel vibes as a blessing coming to you in the next 30 days. Maybe it's just a small trip. Maybe it's something like that, but I can't even deny it. Maybe it's some type of a retreat, resort, spa, regeneration kind of thing coming into you or opportunity that you book it for later on um, with the goal. Maybe you are going to like a yoga retreat or, you know, a health spa or something like that. It would be very interesting. That would totally fit with our options here. Um, and then here with the three of wands clarifying the knight of wands. Yeah, you are really just motivated to make this happen and your motivation has brought this abundance into your life. You have been consistent. You are getting what you want and you're going to be able to look forward and you are going to be able to see what is on the horizon because you are going to end up with a clear mind after this. You know, any decisions that need to be made, they will come to light and you will feel better. With this King of Cups understanding, this could also represent this Knight of Wands person transforming from his knightlyhood to his kingdomship. Um, and then you get a better understanding of who they are and what they want and they're growing up. And then this reunion here is also happening along with this travel and abundance that is coming in. Um, but also you are just getting a better understanding of what balance you need in your life to make this happen. Um, because evidently you are exhausted and you need to regenerate and get your energy back and get some energetic upgrades and those are coming for you in the next 30 days those are the blessings that are coming your way abundance and energetic upgrades but there's a couple situations here which could be why and a couple enhancements here which could help you out and bring even more blessings your way 
Okay, so your next card is the Six of Cups reflection. Yeah, so you need some time to think about things perhaps. Perhaps you need some time away. You're going to get this abundance. Um, you need some time away to think about what you actually want. Maybe there's a decision here to make between partners or people um, and you definitely just need to recharge and you need some healing. Maybe this is actually alone time in this travel, um, but you're motivated. You're motivated to look at the bigger picture. You know what you want. You're clear on what you want. You're getting abundance and this relaxation is really going to regenerate you to help you in your next step in life. And next is justice. <laughs> so balance, exactly. You are here because you need some balance. You have been exhausted. You have been trying to do it all. You have trying, been trying to be, you know, the perfect friend, the perfect pa family member, um, the perfect either leader or employee or whatever. You have been trying to be everything to everyone and you've been trying to keep people calm and you are just run down. Your space is no longer the same to you. And you need a break. You need to get away. And you need to adjust. And you need to find some balance. Is Which is what you will figure out in the next 30 days. I'm getting either you're going to plan whatever this is. Or this is coming for you in the next 30 days. Okay, so I did pull some crystal cards just to get a little more clarification. Yeah, hard healing. Okay, so some of you may actually need to reflect on a situation that's going on here with a certain person. Um, you know, perhaps there is somebody that you're thinking of moving across the world for or something like that. And, you know, whether they're in this king energy or this knight energy, you just need to take some time to do some heart healing to understand where they are and where you are. You need these energetic upgrades so that you can understand what you need to do in your healing process. Healing has come up a couple times here. Balance has come up a couple times here and travel has come up a lot here. Um, the heart is also present as well. Okay, and then your last card is calcite, which is about relaxation. Yeah, so you definitely need some relaxation. Like I've been saying, it is coming towards you. You will get some time off. You will get some travel. You will get to heal your heart. You will get to think about the things that in the choices that you need to make. You will get to understand what balance you need to restore in your life and the actions you need to do that. You will regenerate because you are going to the land of milk and honey or at least preparing for it. You are getting abundance so that you can either take a vacation or a staycation or some type of retreat so that you can regroup and you can get the understanding and heal your heart and get relaxation back into your life so you can be supported when you make these major decisions. Okay, that was fast and furious and very quick reading for me, but that is where I'm going to call it here tonight. I hope hope you have a wonderful next 30 days and I hope this finds you well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know how it goes. All of the above. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Hello, group three. If you chose this pile of cards and this lovely stone, then this is the reading for you. Okay, so I did record this reading already, but I didn't actually press record apparently. This was like my nightmare come true. But it's okay because I must have missed something for you. You know, it must have happened for a reason and I must have missed an important message that needs to come through that I need to tell you in that first take. So we are going <laughs> first take two. Um, trust that this message found you at the right time. This is a timeless reading um, and this is for your next 30 days and we're going to explore what blessings are coming to you. So let's go for it all right so your first card is treasure island interesting and your next card is serendipity 
All right, so what I'm getting with Serendipity and Treasure Island coming out here first for you is that in the next 30 days, you are going to experience a lot of divine timing. There has been a lot of things that led up to the next 30 days, a lot of things that have led up to this moment, to these moments, and you're going to understand exactly why. There's going to be a lot of synchronicities. It's going to be kind of weird. You're going to be like, oh, how is this happening? How is this coming true? I th This can't be real. And we take a look here. We have the number nine and the number nine and if you because if you add eight and one together you get nine and our nines are like you're almost there keep going keep going keep going keep going so what I'm getting is that you have done a lot of work and you have been putting an effort to kind of for your moment to shine to show up to get what you want and you've been putting in a lot of work a lot of the right work too is what I'm getting for this group I'm feeling you guys you know have the right energy the right vibration you're doing the work that needs to be done you are in the right place you've done all the personal growth the personal development you're like where is my treasure island where is it at I am ready I'm here I'm, I'm receiving and with the serendipity you are getting it because Things are just going to line up so perfectly in the next 30 days for you to get what you want and for your dreams to come true. That is what I'm getting for you. Things are going to be uncanny. You're not even going to believe they are happening the way that they do in these synchronicities. You're going to be like, what? How could that even happen? You're not even going to believe it. You're, But trust. Trust yourself. Trust your gut. Trust your path. All right. Your next card is dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah. So shake up your energy a little. See if you can get things moving. Maybe even test play with the universe a little bit. You know, <laughs> everything is falling into place. So get moving. Shake up your energy. Let the world know you're here. Remind the world that you're here. If you've been stagnant, don't forget about the things that you want. Don't forget about your goals. Don't forget about where you are going. The world is ready to welcome you and everything is divine right now and your next card is trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do I love that card I love that message it's kind of like you know if you won the lottery what would you actually do for the rest of your life I can see something like not not that you're gonna win the lottery I'm not gonna say that <laughs> but I can see something like what would you do for the rest of your life if you won the lottery becoming a part of your next 30 days is thinking about that, thinking what you would you do if you were fully supported and maybe making a bit of that come to life in this serendipity and in this treasure island moment. You're almost there. You're putting in work. You know, if you were supported, what would you do? What would you create? What would you make happen? You know, what are your dreams? And try to bring them to life in the next 30 days because you have divine timing on your side. You have things lining up and ready for you. The universe just wants to hear that you're there and see that you're there and know that you are ready. You are still active. You are still here. You are still on your way to get everything you ever wanted and vibrating at a great frequency. Okay, so then I pulled some tarot for you as well. Your first tarot card is the star. Yes, so you are the star. This is you. I don't even care. This is you. <laughs> That's some Aquarius energy if that matters to you. Uh, and then we have the four of wands reward 11, 11 card. Make a wish. You got it. And then we have the world regeneration. Yeah. Cycles. Okay, so what I'm getting is with the nines in the world here, you're coming to the end of a cycle. You're getting your reward. Something is coming to fruition, and I think it is the star. You're being called to step up. Maybe you want to be in the spotlight. Maybe you're working on a personal brand or business. Maybe you have personal goals and passions. Maybe you are advancing in your career. Maybe you are manifesting a relationship in which, you know, everybody is a complete whole human being, and then this is your next step for you to be complete before you are ready to take on that romance. Um, and you are coming into your power and you will continue with hope and you will have, you know, the efforts that you need to do to move forward and be 
in your power with this star card. You are, you know, maybe you gain a little bit of a following. Maybe you have an influence. Maybe that is all coming to life here for my pile threes. You know, you're exciting. People want to be around you. You have great energy. You follow your dreams. Things are lining up for you. People are going to want to be around you in the next 30 days. That is for sure. You are going to be vibrating high. And with this four of wands, you are going to get your reward. You are going to get your your wish. Happily ever after is, you know, yours. I mean, it's still only a four energy, but something is coming true for you. It's the first steps of something really, really big big of what you want and with um this regeneration card here with the world it's just reminding us that this serendipity isn't magic it's not magic it's the cycle of life we go through cycles you're ready for your reward because you are working so hard and you have put yourself out there and you've put yourself forward and you've been seeking what you want and you're at your nines and you're ready to go and you're ready to have this regeneration and create this domino effect for things in your life. Okay, so I did pull some clarifiers for these as well. To clarify the star, we have the moon. Then to clarify the four of wands, we have the ten of pentacles. Oh my goodness. And then to clarify the world, we have the five of swords. All right, what I'm getting here with this five of swords, I'll just like the elephant in the room, I will call it out first. So don't even worry about it. There has been some conflict. There have been uh, some people who probably didn't believe in you. There have been some people that you had to cut loose because they didn't believe in your vision. They didn't believe in where you were going. Um, you were a leveling up. You are upgrading. You are taking your life to the next level. And some people don't see that. They don't understand it. They're trying to limit you with the beliefs that they had. And they're trying to hold you back because of their own failures you need to rise above that because you need to complete your cycle the world is yours success is yours you just need to uh, you know keep the opinions of others just that the opinions of others they have no bearing or impact on you your life and your choices you just need to move forward and avoid that conflict okay so here with the moon clarifying the star, you are doing something really rare, okay? There's a bit of an unknown. You're taking a risk. Perhaps there's a person you're taking a risk on, like not a huge risk because I'm feeling that's very abundant, whatever it is. Um, or perhaps there is just something in your life that is, it's just a different path, you know? Um, not a lot of people know much about it. You're entering the unknown. People haven't made it to where you're going and you're getting there, um, you know, whether that is in your love life or whether that is in your career and your stardom or whatever it may be, there is this unknown that you are getting to that is like the other side of the moon. No one knows what it's like, <laughs> okay? But it is coming in here with your four of wands clarified by the ten of pentacles. Isn't that beautiful? Um, you are, luck is on your side, abundance is on your side. You will be rewarded for being daring. You will be rewarded for being fearless. You will be rewarded for seeking out this just different aspect of things if you avoid the opinions of others. Okay, so then I did pull some advice as well for you. And we have the queen of the ocean, abundance. I believe she's the empress. Amazing. And then we have the queen of wands, passion. Yeah, okay, so you're getting where you're going by sheerly being like in this queen of wands energy. You have a following. You're a leader. You're pushing things through. You don't really care about the opinions of others. You set your own path. You make your own decisions. You know, you're an individual. You are unique and you lead others and you inspire others, but you do that by not doing the same thing that others do. You are inspirational and you are a leader. And with this queen of the ocean here, you are bringing it to life. Finally, you are making that next step. You are pushing it through. You know, the if it's a relationship, you're going after it. Or if it's a new job, you're going after it. 
or if it is an advancement you're going after it whatever it is you are just all in and you are going for it and things are going to line up so smoothly that you don't even know how it happens you are just going to float along because you have done all of this work already you have overcome the obstacles you have pushed through and in this next 30 days it is critical that all of this is lining up to get you where you need to go on your path where you are supported okay so let's take a look at your crystals here now so we can see what else yes okay we have conflict again conflict and conflict there are people who are trying to hold you back and create conflict out of something that should be so magical. Just ignore it and then you have success. Yeah. So this conflict, you don't need to know about it. You don't need to hear about it. You don't even need to, you know, you can be respectful and listen to people and understand them and hear them and maybe be a bit empathetic, but you don't have to change your entire life based on other people's, you know, failures, honestly, because they aren't you. You're, you're different. I'm getting that from you. You know, some of you might be actually Aquarius energy. So you're, you're just different. Or some of you, you know, might be earth signs and you are a creator and you're not, um, you're not worried ab about this conflict or anything like that. You protect yourself from it. You've probably been dealing with this for a while. Like, you know how to deal with this. You know how to shrug off the comments of others and the limiting beliefs of others because you have such a great life to lead and things to take care of and success to be had. And success to be had, exactly. <laughs> success is coming to you. And just be open and ready for success. Be vibrating and welcoming that success into your life so that, you know, you are ready for it and you have done the work that needed to be done to be successful. Okay, my group three lovelies. This has been an inspirational, powerful, and exciting blessing that's coming your way which is the blessing of divine timing. Everything is falling into place where it needs to be right at the exact right moments and right timing. Things are going to feel so serendipitous. You are going to be the star. You are going to bring your success to life. You are going to be abundant. You are going to have your luck, you know, and this is going to complete a cycle so that you are ready for your next chapter, your next step, and all of the amazing things to come. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of those fun things. Turn on notifications so you do not miss a video. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.